Okay, welcome again. Chapter 12, and this time the part 2. In the part 1, we discussed about the basic of the uh, keyboard. And now we have to write a program so that we can know how the keyboard works. Uh, so this is again about the keyboard interfacing with the IT51 microcontroller. Before going to the keyboard, uh, before going to write the the exact program for the for this keyboard. Uh, it's always advisable to have a flow chart, the program flow chart. And the, how the program flow chart will work here, we can see when we start the keypad, the keypad means when we turn on the keypad or the keyboard. Uh, so then the first task the program should do should make all the rows call all the rows zero as you have seen here we have we were having the rows and here we were having the columns so all the rows should be all the rows should be zero so first task is to make all the rows zero okay so read all columns if all the rows are zero and none of the switch is pressed then the read then the uh, data read by the microcontroller at port 2 will be 111 okay so read all columns it it should be one ideally all keys open we have okay all keys open means all the column value is 11 it means all the keys are open yes all the keys are open then we have to jump to this instruction okay why we have this this because it could be possible it this uh, this flowchart ensures that when we turn on the uh, keyboard or the keypad all the keys must be free must be open none of the keys should be should be in the closed condition it could be possible due to some uh, some uh, some uh, mistake or due to some error or due to some fault inside the keyboard uh, one of the key or many of the key can be pressed if we start to run the keyboard and one of the key or more than one key is already pressed then it means the keyboard is faulty so we should not the program should not go ahead to detect which key is pressed so this is the reason why we have this one so it could be possible if you for example by mistake sometimes the one of the key or many of the key can be pressed if you press for example sometimes we, we, we by mistake can put a paper weight can put some some heavy things on the keypad so this is the what is this this program self test of the keypad or the keyboard if the keyboard passes this self test then it will jump from one to to this to this to this section so uh, again uh, i would uh, uh, when we start ground all rows means all the rows should be zero zero and of course if none of the switch is pressed then the column should be one 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 so they read all columns all all columns are one it means the all keys are open yes if all the keys are open then we have to move if any of the keys is closed or faulty or by mistake it is it is being in the in the push status then the program will not move from here to here but it will it will remain in this loop until until the all the switch become free all the switch become open okay so otherwise the program will not go ahead okay now now so we assume here all the keys are in healthy conditions and the self test of the key is passed so from here we will move to this point now read all the 
all the columns. Why again we need to read all the columns? Any key down. If we have pushed any key, if we have pushed any key, then yes, any key down. Yes, one of the key is down. Then we have to wait for the bounce. Okay. Before this, if none of the key is pressed, then this program will remain in this loop. So it will continue to monitor the status of the key if the key is if any of the key is pressed or not so let's assume that we have pressed one of the key then the then the one of the key is pressed then any key down yes one of the keys down then we will have wait for the bounce okay still we have some this burial why we have wait for the bounce for example it could be possible that the key is influenced by the external uh, spikes or the emf generated surrounding the keyboard or simply simply we can say that if if uh, if uh, due to some electrical spikes or due to some errors or uh, due to some error or noise surrounding the key if if it is not the reason that one of the key is pressed okay so if we press the key by human deliberately if we want to uh, to press the key then the key because it is pushed by the human it can remain closed for a longer period maybe for 50 millisecond or, 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 or so so we have to see and if it is due to the spikes due to some error then the key then the push button then the, the the then the status of one of the switch uh, will will be treated as a debounce okay or or if we if we press the switch so initially it can have some debounce and then after that time period it will it will be stable so in order to get rid of this initial this one because these are the mechanical switches so in order to get the in order to get the get rid from the initial debounce value we have to wait that yes it is now the stable value it is neither the debounce it is neither uh, the noise or electric spikes it is yes if the switch is stays longer than 20 milliseconds, then it means yes, the switch is 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 confirmed. It is pressed, and it is not by some error or some by mistake. So after confirming, basically wait for the bounce confirms. If you wait for this much time, then it means the key is yes, it is deliberately pressed. It is genuinely pressed. Then again, we need to read all columns. So one of the column will become zero. If one of the switch is zero, any key down, yes. How we can know any key down? We will know that one of the one of the bit of the column will become zero. Okay, then yes, it is it is one of the switch is down. Then we will move. So this is what is this? Any key push. This is the confirmation of the push. It gets rid of the debounce of the mechanical switch. It gets rid of the spikes or something else by mistake or something else. So this this flowchart, this part of the flowchart confirms that confirms that the switch is genuinely pressed. If the switch is pressed, then which one is it? So this is our next task. So it, it will program will uh, move from here to here, and then we, as we have seen, ground next row step by step. First we will ground the zero row and then we will ground the the one row the second row and the third row so ground next row is step by step and then if we see if we see uh, when uh, uh, when one of the row is set to zero and if you see yes the key one key is pressed then we will find we will have we will have this find which key is pressed then we will find we will make a loop we will make a code that code will determine which key is it and then get a scan code from table 
we will have a lookup table from lookup table we can find the which key is pressed and then we will return to the main program okay hope you understand and if uh, but what i understand so this is the final step is key identification so we now have to proceed uh, uh, probably if something is still not clear please be with this lecture uh, and uh, some if it is still not clear you will be get clear by the next slides now so what is this keyboard program 12-4 this is a complete program this is a complete program okay we have this complete program here and i have shown here the keyboard as well so this is a complete program and how we can uh, how i can explain in this video and this is very really very essentially required to explain this video so that you can understand very clearly very clearly so in order to to get this task achieve this uh, this uh, uh, this understanding i have uh, i will comment some blocks of the code okay let's we start for example i will not explain it one by one it will it will be lengthy it will be boring so some part of because you are uh, the undergrad great students and you i assume that you all know the basic things of the assembly programming so this part this part is basically the lookup table the, look, the lookup table has address 300 h so at this 300 the code uh, code zero so at this 300 address what the value we have the value we have is zero at 301 we have value 1 302 we have value 2 303 we have value 3 and so on 304 we have value 4 308 we have value 8 300 d we have value d okay so these are defined these these codes are def are, uh, are defined by using bb and the first is for row 0 second is row 1 of course we know the row 0 has value 0 1 2 3 and the row 1 value has 4 5 6 7 and similarly the row 2 and the row 3 has value c d e f so all these key numbers are key numbers remember all these key numbers are defined in this lookup table okay so this is one part and and then the first two three lines so what the program is doing 0 ffh p2 what is p2 p2 is an input port as we said before p2 is an input port so we made it by placing one one value to p2 as we know if we make if we want to make p2 as an input value we have to place ff value so we did it and then and then after making this one uh, port to an input port what we are doing we are placing zero value to the port one where is port one port one is this one so we are placing all the bits where we are making all the bits zero 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 by by moving zero value to the port one okay so this is the task and then p2 is read to the accumulator because p2 is after making all these values 0 0 so the value of the p2 what we read value of the p2 will be moved to the accumulator as we understand initially in this initial condition uh, none of the switch will be pressed unless the key is faulty or something went wrong with the keypad or keyboard so all the keys will be initially will be zero zero so this value will be one 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 here and then p2 value the read value at port p2 will be, will be moved to the accumulator so only i'm describing some parts and this is often we will use here and logic a what is the value of a here let's assume the keypad is healthy there is no wrong 
with any key. So the, 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 when we have this one, zero, 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 so none of the key is pressed, so this value will be one, 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 one. So this value, the, now the accumulator has value one, one, all ones value. So if we perform the and logic with this number, so because the accumulator has one, 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 okay, so this will be filtered out and the accumulator will have only the value one 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 with the uh, next higher four bits will be zero and because we are performing the and logic if we perform the and logic so the accumulator will have the same value one 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 the first four bit will be one 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 and when we when we compare and jump and we compare and uh, when we use this uh, compare and jump instruction so the because the accumulator has value one 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 and this value is also one 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 so there is no change compare and jump if not equal so accumulator value and this value are equal if this values are equal then then means what will happen will it jump to k1 no it will not jump to k1 it will execute the next instruction if any of the key is by mistake is pressed then this will uh, uh, then the a, a will have one of the zero and one of the zero will make it uh, uh, when we compare uh, uh, when we uh, uh, when we perform the and logic one uh, one of the bit will be zero and one of the bit will be zero bit it means if these values are not equal then the the code will move to the k1 and again it will remain in the same loop it will not execute so these are the uh, uh, to check uh, self test of the keyboard now uh, the next uh, if p2 is i, I just i am just explaining rand randomly something if p2 is read and then again so if none of the switch is pressed and logic will have also one 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 and this will not this will not jump to over but it will execute these things okay we will see later on some in some more details this is why this one we have here after self test of the key pair now the program will become ready to read if any of the switch is pressed the read port is the port two. Okay. How we can perform the reading? First, we will make row zero, as we have seen in the last lecture. So this is this port is making p one zero one one. So zero one one one. So this first row will become zero. Why we will have first row become zero? We will have first row uh, to identify if either of if any one of the four switch along the row zero is pressed or not okay so this code we have to place zero one 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 in order to identify if if one switch at the row zero is pressed or not okay and similarly uh, if none if not any switch is pressed then we will have this value one zero one one then we will scan the next row it will make one so we have one zero one 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 it will make one and it will become zero one one so it will be used to identify a uh, identify uh, if the switch is four five six or seven similarly we have next scan so this is the third scan way we are pressing one one zero one 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 zero one so if this column is row is zero it means these switches are being scanned and now the last one is one 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 zero one 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 zero so this is used to scan the last row of the switch okay so these are the fundamental things and uh, we have to this is also one of the important code 
so i will so uh, we will see uh, the next and uh, of course this is uh, rotate right wire carry instruction okay and uh, the if the accumulator value what we get what we read the value at this at any point if you read this value and this value is moved to the accumulator this value is moved to the accumulator here this value is moved to the accumulator here this value is moved to the accumulator so accumulator value if contains zero one bit is zero then we have to find which bit if this bit is zero it means if if we for example if we take this one if this bit is zero it means the switch number is eight if this bit is zero it means the switch number is nine so on so we will see okay I uh, hope uh, you understand this one. Now I will explain. Of course, it's very really hard, but uh, we have to make these uh, and uh, these uh, easy to understand. So what I did here, I assume that I I just take this. This is the entire program. Okay, any of these switches is pressed. This is. This is the code for for to detect the any of the switch. But here, let's assume if we make a switch key zero uh, pushed, then we have to see how the program will run. Similarly, you can do it in the similar fashion what I did in the next slide. You can press switch one. You can assume the switch one is pressed, and then you can trace. The whole program, how the program behaves, then in this way you can uh, have a very good understanding of this keyboard program. So let's assume the same program we are running, but we are assuming only switch zero. If at any moment switch zero is pressed, let's see. So, so key uh, the program if key zero is pushed. So this is zero. Still, it is not pushed. Okay. What will happen? The next, uh, the first code is this one. What is this? This is making port two, an input port. Okay, and then we are reading. No, we are placing zero value. All these values becoming zero. Set all rows zero. And P two because none of the switch is pressed here so far. So P two will read one 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 one. So P2 will read 111 and accumulator will have value 111. Now, if you perform the AND logic of accumulator, accumulator has value 1111. The first, we are only considering the first four bit and we are assuming after performing this AND logic with this value. So the last four bit will automatically will become disabled or it will become zero. So, so, uh, so uh, we just considering here we are. I'm considering only the first four bit because the first four bit is the concern bit in this case. Okay. Uh, so, but, uh, if we perform the AND logic, so AND A has this one, so same value. So A after performing this AND logic, A value will also be the same. A value will have the one 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 one. Okay. Now compare and jump instruction. So a value. What is the value of a? A is having this value, and this is the same value. So will it jump? This instruction says compare and jump if not equal. But these values are equal, so it will not jump to k1, but it will move onward. So it will have a one delay loop. Uh, uh, I'm uh, so suppose it's, it's, a, it's some. Delay loop, and it uh, it is it, it takes a delay of maybe a few uh, a few uh, a finite amount of time, a short and the small finite amount of time is taking delay. So what is now? Okay, after this delay, let's assume that the switch is. Changed the status of the switch zero is changed, and it becomes zero. So how the code will run? So now, after having this delay, uh, 
if this is zero okay and what we did here all the rows are zero as we said p1 is zero okay so what will happen because this switch is pressed the so zero is this one is zero so zero 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 it means d zero will become zero and the rest will be one 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 so the port two will read the port two will read zero one 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 as we have seen many times before now performing the end logic so accumulator has value zero one one and this value is one 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 all one so if we perform the end logic we will end up with this value zero one 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 so accumulator will have value zero one 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 please remember these values as we will use it later on compare jump compare jump if not equal so a what is the value inside a a is having zero one 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 and this is one 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 all one so these are not equal so what happened it the loop will jump to over so i am just skipping this one because these are not uh, these are not the part of this of of this uh, of this uh, of this execution the key so key zero is pushed okay so i'm just uh, making it uh, dull so we can we can ignore this one so compare jump instruction will jump to over over is here again we are taking some time delay in order to get rid of the debounce or some other values as we have explained in the flow chart so these are the uh, finite amount of time we have to wait after waiting this time what we are seeing the switch is still pressed okay switch is still pressed switch is not is bouncing so now we again read the port 2 value so which is still press so port 2 value have 0 1 1 1 so we will have accumulator value after execution of this one port 2 will still have 0 1 1 1 value and now performing the and logic so again the same instruction if we perform a is having 0 so if we perform and logic with this one the first bit will become 0 so now the finally the accumulator has value 0 1 1 1 okay compare jump if not equal yes accumulator value this value and this value is not equal so it has to jump to over one where is over one okay i'm skipping so the the over one is this so program will jump from here to here directly and over one again what we are doing here P1. Okay, In, initially we put P10. All the P1 put was having zero status, but now we are only making zero. Uh, we are only uh, making row zero zero. Okay, and the rest of the row bits are one one one. So we are only making this one zero. What will happen? Again, we are reading. After making this one zero, again we are reading. We, we read this value many times. Okay, again we are reading this one. So what will happen? P2 will read, of course, P2 because this switch is pressed and this is zero. So P2 will read zero value and rest of the value will be zero. So P2 will read zero one one one. And performing the and logic, yes, because the P2 zero is Accumulator value, this value is not equal. So accumulator will have 0, 1, 1, 1 value. And then compare jump if not equal. Of course, these are not equal. So the program has to jump to row underscore 0. Where is row underscore 0? It is not here. This is still not here. Okay, row underscore 0 is here. So the program from this line will directly jump to this one. And what this is doing, this is moving the uh, code zero value, key code zero value to the data pointer. What is key code zero value here? Uh, we know the lookup table we made at location 300. 
and key this is key code 0 so at 300 we have value 0 okay and uh, the key code 0 means key code 0 this one and uh, so at 300 h what is the value at it is the, the, uh, this uh, this lookup table is starts at value 300 so the data pointer move data pointer key code 0 value key code 0 value is 300 so 300 will move to the data pointer so data pointer will have 300 value 300 okay now the next so remember data pointer has 300 value and the short jump uh, we will have short jump but short jump to find okay where is find we have to see okay find is here so this code will not be utilized find rrca rotate right through carry the accumulator value what is the accumulator value we know the accumulator value was 0111 so i only use the first four bit 0111 after executing this one rotate right via carry after executing this one because the accumulator value the first value is zero so after executing this one the carry will have zero value okay this we have seen in the in the rrc instructions so after executing this one the carry will become zero what happens next jump if not carry to match or we can alternatively say that jump if zero if carry is zero yes the carry is zero so it has to jump to match where is match okay the match we have here and uh, we can see match is uh, the first instruction is clear the accumulator and the data pointer we have value 300 we have clear the a so this is this becomes zero so data pointer 300 plus zero it will make 300 so at the rate of 300 the value at the rate of 300 has to move to the accumulator and the value value at the rate of 300 is 300 is zero okay you can see this is zero so the so the after execution of this one accumulator will have number zero accumulator will have value zero okay okay now the accumulator value that means zero value is being moved to the port zero we have not port one this is a port one this is a port two so port zero is another port and we just want to save which key number is so we found the key number is zero so this value will be moved to the port zero so we now now we identify which key is this one and if you want to identify you can try by having by changing this program if key zero not you can say key one is pressed or you can say key five is pushed nine d c f any of the you can try with a number of keys maybe five or six different keys and then you can understand the program very clearly okay there will be no problem it will be guarantee that you will understand each and each steps of and each code so you can try with this one and you can see okay after having this one so so we identified the key press was zero button okay and then long jump to k1 repeat whole code where is k1 k1 so the program after identifying one of the key which was pressed it will repeat the whole code and it will jump to k1 and again it will see all these values okay so the things will repeat it hope you understand and uh, yes uh, what i can say here we use a 4 by 4 matrix and the program written of course is for 4 by 4 matrix but if you have 8 by 8 matrix that is of 64 switches then you can use the same program for the 8 by 8 matrix because then you can use this uh, uh, then you, because you have 
accurate of 8 bit, uh, P2 is 8 bit. So, the same program can be applicable by slight modification, uh, can be applicable for the 8 by 8 matrix. Okay. So, hope you understand these things. Or, I and uh, I suppose I explained it very clearly, but uh, you can play, you can let me know if there is still to say more and uh, two more. But it is, it is the guarantee of this series that we will try our best to teach you, e, teach you the topic very clearly and it should be easily to understand. Okay, see you. And thank you very much.